So I'm not really interested in using the hardware that these pulleys came with. So here's one with the pulley removed. So it looks like it has a brass or a bronze bushing, which I like. So all I plan on using from here is just the pulley itself and the same idea with these three as well. I still have a ways to go on the log splitter, not finished yet. So I'd like to use a cable and pulleys and the machine's kinetic energy to do the lifting. So here's some custom made pieces that I think could work for the pulley mount that's closest to the flywheel. So this piece could go here and this piece could go here and then a piece like this could go here with a pulley in between. So of course welding and drilling and, and uh, finishing that kind of thing would be required as well but uh, I think that would work fairly well. So I think it's easier to weld something like this together off of the machine and then later weld it onto the machine as a unit. So right now there's six pulleys in position. So there's one under here and one up here and one down there. And one over here and this one. So what I would like is that the cable stays in place when the uh, system is in operation. So with this one, see the pulley goes over the top and so there's nothing that would hold the cable in place like when uh, when the cable is goes slack then th the cable can come off of here so see unlike this one so here for example with the cable going around the back side coming out here then uh, that helps to hold that cable in place so what I would like to do with this one is weld these mounts up a bit and then uh, use this, like have this welded over the top. Like right now, I, it, right now, uh, it, these are a little low. I guess I put a spacer there or something. But anyways, I'll. You know, I, I think I need to work on that a bit. See the one, the one under here. Where is it? Here. See, this is what I mean. So. This one has that uh, piece of going across. So see this one also, it has the pulley, or it has the cable going on this side of the pulley instead of up here. So in, in this example, if it was not for this piece here going across, then uh, the cable could possibly uh, easily go out of place. So I'd like to, do some work on this one. So this is what the top of those brackets look like after welding. So I'd like to shape them and then also weld that piece along the top as well so that it can uh, retain that cable when everything is functioning. So here I have a short length of cable to uh, illustrate what this top piece does. So when the cable is installed, and if for example the cable would go slack, then it, it's being held in place by that top piece. See? It, it, it stays, stays in the groove. So without that, then the cable could possibly fall off to the side, you know, it's just uh, not being held in place like this one here for for example so if the cable is behind here you know wrapped around and it's it's being held in there well that's the idea on that so I've been making some changes along the way to the uh, log lift and uh, basically I think it's finished at this point and it seems to be functional so basically it works like this when the engine is running and I engage the mechanism then the uh, pusher assembly moves forward and it takes the cable with it if I have it attached on there 
And when it does that, it pulls over here and lifts it up. So I'm going to lift this up. And then, so over here is the lock mechanism. Okay, so I'm going to lift on here. So now it's being held in place here. And it's up about that far. So I take this arm off so that I can lift this thing all the way like this, this high. Then it's kind of out of the way and it's easier to move it around. So I've done a number of lifts with it already and a problem that is arising is this piece is bending. So I think I managed to get it back better than it was before but uh, I think I should do some reinforcing on this piece so anyways guys thanks for checking out another video